Hi, are you trying to remodel your home and think about what's the best thing that you could remodel to get the most money when you try to sell it? And um, today's video, I'm going to talk about a few things, what's good to remodel and um, what's the return on investment. So welcome to Wealth Building Wednesday. My name is Fei Yan. I work with Keller Williams and I service in uh, central New Jersey, Monmouth, Ocean, and Middlesex County. So today we're gonna talk about a few things that are great to do remodel. It will give you a great return on investment. The first thing is painting. As you know, painting is the cheapest way that you could uh, give a fresh look over your house. The return on investment on painting is about 107%. So it's a cheaper way to do it and it will give you a great investment and I believe everybody when they, before they sell their house they should definitely do a painting. The second one is flooring. I know if you have like a old carpet or dirty carpet and you definitely need to replace the floor because the flooring could give you about a uh, hardwood floor could give you about 70 to 80 percent return on investment and a hardwood floor looks great it's easy to clean and to maintain so definitely a great investment another one is kitchen you know we spend most of our time in the kitchen when a buyer walk into a house that's the first thing they see right so kitchen will help a buyer to decide if they wanted to have they wanted to buy your house or not. So a great investment in kitchen, every year remodel for kitchen costs about twenty to $30,000. And you could get the return back about 73% to 84%. So it's a great investment. And even if you don't sell the house, kitchen is a great investment because you would definitely enjoy it, right? Another thing you could remodel is bathroom. Bathroom is something buyer would definitely receive and also could help the buyer make a decision that they wanted to buy your house or not. You could update the countertop, new fixtures, sinks, toilet, and um, tops. And you could get a return on investment anywhere from 60% to 70%. But you have to avoid, try to avoid anything that's too trendy. Choose something that's contemporary. Uh, such as like subway tile that will appeal to both uh, traditional and contemporary taste. And then you don't need to put in something that's very fancy. Let's say if you wanted to choose between a top or a jacuzzi, definitely choose a top because a jacuzzi will not help a, a buyer to decide if they wanted to buy your house or not. So it's a great investment to remodel your bathroom in your house. Another one is the manufactured stone veneer. You could actually replace a section in front of your house to be manufactured uh, stone veneer. Um, it actually helps to recoup about 95% on return on investment. This upgrade might not be for every house, but for some of the houses, it would definitely help to make up the sale. Another one is to the curb appeal to update the curb appeal. Definitely a curb appeal is like the first impression when people walk in into your house, they will see the landscape right away, right? If you have a very messy landscape and you have trees grow all over the place and the, the grass is not cut, it just tells the buyer that you're not very, um, you don't take care of the house very well because it will give people the impression that they might be something inside your house, it's broken you because you don't take care of your house, right? So definitely hire a landscaper guy, try to cut your grass and trim your bushes and plant a few new flowers and it will make brighten up the entrance to your house and it would definitely help you with the sale of your house. And uh, the curb appeal actually could boost up your sales to 200 to 400% of return on investment. Another one is the deck and deck or patio. To, have, uh, to build a deck or patio, it will increase the space. It will also uh, give the buyer more space to enjoy outdoors. The return on investment on a deck is about 65%. Return on investment on a, a patio is about 60%. Another one is to have windows and door replacement. To have a high quality steel doors could also prevent leaks and boost the insulation of your home. And to re replace window, it's also update. It's a functional update that will also improve energy efficiency. So you spend about $10,000 on a new windows. It will give you return about 8,500. 
to add up to the sale of your home. So it's about 85% return on investment. And then if you replace the entryway doors, the front entrance doors, it's gonna give you about 75% return on investment. So these two things are also very good to have investment on. So thank you for watching my video and I hope you learned something new. And if you need a contractor such as a deck guy or a window guy or a painter, or if you need recommendations on paintings, you could uh, comment below and I could give you a few recommendations. I do have contractors that I could give it to you. So thanks for watching again. And next Wednesday, I'm going to talk about what not to invest, what not to remodel your home. So it's not going to give you return on a great return on investment. So hopefully I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.